Alas, poor Yorick. It's the show. Alas, poor Yorick. He never grouped up with his team and spent the entire game pushing top lane. Hey Sam. What? Do you want to hear a joke about leeches? Do they suck? How dare you! <laughs> yes. Alas, poor Yorick. He never got a chance to try the three bean dip. Everyday side effects of ADHD. I'm banned from watching infomercials because poor impulse control means I don't think through whether or not whatever product they're hawking is actually worth the money they want for it before I pick up the phone and before you know it, I'm left with like a belt that shocks your gut or something. Let's not push it off the edge. Alas, poor Yarek. Tonight, he forged his first tequila story, Horatio. This episode, I'm highlighting a content creator who doesn't make videos, but instead one who makes software. Super cool programmer Al Wyvern has released a really awesome utility for people who run spaceship-themed tabletop role-playing games. It's called Station Generator, and it does exactly what it says. Gives you the power to automatically generate space station maps with heaps of customization options at your disposal. If you're into sci-fi tabletop games, then you should go to Steam and totally check it out. This is vegetable. I can't. Can I read that? Sankaku cracker. Sankaku cracker. Um, it's vegetable flavored and apparently, oishi mini mini. They're delicious tiny crackers. I read Japanese. With <laughs> wow. Some, oh wow, they are tiny crackers. <laughs> nice. Look at them. They're little triangles. I know shapes. Thank you. I'm gonna do my thing. They smell like shapes biscuits, but like disappointing shapes biscuits. They're small disappointing shapes biscuits. Oh wow! They are actually just small disappointing shapes biscuits. I mean, I still eat them, but. And they do taste like vegetables. Like sadness. And like health. Except not like, like, but they, like... They kind of taste like the roast drumstick shapes, but without yeah, the taste of chicken. They do! Yeah, okay, so they taste like roast drumstick shapes, but also with a mix of upset child, because I wanted something good! of four mythological creatures and asked you which you most identified with. Unsurprisingly, when the options were Japanese vampire cat, British gorgon rooster snake, Bavarian chimeric nightmare, and Puerto Rican goat sucker, the bacaneco came out on top. Although, Chupacabra did have a beat for a while. <laughs> So, I hate zombies. Like, I really hate zombies. I'm terrified of them. Absolutely terrified. I can't emphasize this enough. So I guess it's probably a bit weird that this week I'm looking at a game where zombies are half of the title and all of the playable cast. And yet, here I am. Zombie Vikings is a side-scrolling beat-em-up game that was released for PS4 and Steam, developed by Zoink Games and released in late 2015. There are so many great things to say about Zombie Vikings. It supports from one to four players with both local and online multiplayer. So no matter where your friends are, they can join in the action. In the base game, there are four different characters for you to choose from, with a fifth, Raz from Psychonauts, available as free DLC. The base characters have a 50-50 gender split and give us a diverse range of body sizes, personalities, and playstyles to choose from. 
The characterization, not just in the playable characters, but throughout the whole cast, is written thoughtfully and creatively, and allows you to become genuinely invested in the events that unfold. The writing in Zombie Vikings is easily the most praiseable aspect, and I was delighted to learn that it was primarily written by Zach Wienersmith, creator of the webcomic Saturday Morning Breakfast serial. The story is told with a brilliantly self-aware sense of humour and throws in the sarcasm, wit, self-reference and self-deprecation that Zack has made himself known for. Of course, it's not just the story that makes this such a delight to play. The visual style is like a comic book come to life, with a level of detail that goes just a bit too far, leading to some flashbacks to old episodes of Ren and Stimpy and the not quite subtle gross out effect it left us with. The characters' writing and aesthetics are completed by outstanding voice acting, and the whole experience is tied together by excellent sound effects and an absolutely rocking musical score that left me feeling hyped up and super happy. Digging down deeper, Zombie Vikings controls are wicked easy to pick up, and play generally feels fluid. It's great that there are a variety of weapons that unlock as you progress through the story, and even more as you complete the optional side quests. If you're playing multiplayer, there's a novel way of handling the problem of who is awarded the side quest rewards, with all the players engaging in a battle to death, and the victor being awarded a new weapon for the remainder of the level. But the losers shouldn't despair, because all unlocked weapons are available to be purchased with the gold that the players earn throughout the stage before the next level begins. Once you're finished with the story mode, there are also five versus arenas that you can battle against your friends in, so the fun doesn't need to end just because you're done with the main game. Overall, I've fallen in love with Zombie Vikings, in ways that I didn't even expect. If you're a fan of beat-em-ups and want a humorous take on the genre, then this game is one you should really consider adding to your library. Alas, poor Yorick. I liked him. You, you know I liked him, but he always cheated at darts. That pistol was a pain, and yet... For some reason, legal?